Police, I'd like to talk to you. Hold on. Talk about what? Uh, I'm looking for the tenant of this apartment, Lindsay Smith. Yes? Is she here? I'm Lindsay Smith. What can I do for you? Well, what is it? I'm busy. I've got an appointment. I'm going to be late. Uh, sorry, I need to ask you a couple questions. About what? Can I see your ID, for starters? Look, I'm a lawyer. I, I know my rights. And I know mine. And one of them is to see your ID. Give you a choice. You can show it to me now, or you can go down to headquarters and show it to me. Lindsay Smith. That's you. I said I was Lindsay Smith. Now, what do you want? Well, I'm uh, following up some loose ends in an investigation, and your name came up. Do you happen to know the uh, Capwells? Well, anyone who lives in Santa Barbara knows the Capwells. Why? You know them personally? No, I don't. I've expressed a few words to one or two of them, but uh, I was at Lyman Prep with one of the kids. Mm -hmm. Which one? Well, actually, two. <laughs> Which two? Eden and Channing Jr. Have you ever had anything to do with them uh, socially? But can't you tell me the point of all this? In a minute. Which Capwell would you say you knew best, Eden or Channing Jr.? I don't know any of them best. I mean, it wasn't as if we were on a first-name basis. We uh, nodded each other when we passed in the halls. But I don't even think we had a class together. And I'm getting later and later from my appointment. Oh, well, I'm real sorry about that, but, you know, this kind of thing has to be settled. You see... We found a letter that you wrote to one of the Capwells. Have it right here, in fact. I'd like to ask you about it. See if I can get some answers to some stuff that's been bothering us. Come in. Hi, Mr. Lockridge. Hi, Ruby. I thought you'd be out of here by now. I'm trying, but not yet. Place well, sure is a mess. I know, that's why I hired you. I could do a lot of other things, besides cleaning, you know. Ruby, you're young and lovely. And if you ever make a suggestion like that, I'll have to fire you. Never hurts to try. That's true. Oh, oh, by the way, I am missing a Chinese puzzle box. It's kind of light blue. Have you seen it or moved it? Chinese box? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, I, uh, I had it in this counter right here, and uh, are you sure you don't remember? Oh, I don't do no cleaning in there. Uh, nor many other places, but I'd appreciate it if you'd keep an eye out for it, because I seem to have misplaced it somewhere. Wait a minute. Little blue box? <laughs> sure, I remember. It was right here. And now it ain't. My sentiments exactly. So you do clean there? Oh, no, but I look. Um, <clears throat> the last time I looked, it was sitting right there. Oh. Well, will you keep looking? I mean, someplace else? Mm. Not too many places around here a little box to get to. Is uh, there? No, I think I've been ripped off. Hire it? No, more like assistant district attorney. Ex-assistant district attorney. You know, I think Mason Capital has been in here. Well, I wasn't here. In fact, I bet on it. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Ah. It'd be very difficult breaking through this diamond cleanly. Mr. Capo, before he begins, I'd like to renew my offer. I'll buy the stone from you now for $25,000 uncut. But you both agree that if the cut is successful, it will be worth in excess of 100000 If it's successful, but it could be a failure. And if it is, the stone would burst into a million pieces. I have $5,000 cash. I'll give you that, and I'll write a check for the additional $20,000. It'd be safer if you go along with me. Thank you, but I uh, need everything I can get out of it, Mr. Schuster. I'm willing to play for all or nothing. Yeah, yeah. 
Diamonds are dust, so to speak, huh? Yeah, Simple. diamonds are dust. But you should know that I make it a practice to collect my money before I do any cutting. That's a good precaution. I have it right here. The whole 15,000, yeah? Mm -hmm. Count it if you wish. Oh, nice, nice. I'm sure you're trustworthy, Mr. Capwell. Very good. All right, shall we begin? Please. I want Sophia cut out of everything. No, not a penny. No, there is no room for discussion. And I will not meet with her attorney. Now, she's totally in the wrong, and if she wants to, we can drag this thing out in the public again. I don't care. Just take care of it. Kelly? What is it? What's the matter? I'm sorry, Mr. Kleinstock. I'll get rid of them. Lionel, what the devil are you doing here? I'll tell you once I'm inside. Lionel, I'm very busy right now. Yeah, I can see what you're busy doing. You stole my Chinese puzzle box. It wasn't your puzzle box, Lionel. It was mine. You tried to substitute a duplicate box on me, but fortunately I realized what was happening. Oh, you corrected the situation. Really? Well, where I come from, breaking and entering is against the law. And also taking another man's property, isn't it? I mean, isn't that the kind of law you study? Well, if you can prove that, Lionel, you can have me arrested. In the meantime, why don't you go back from whence you came? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm very sorry to disturb you. Lionel. Oh, how many carrots is that? You know, I had that thing x-rayed, but I never knew it was a diamond. Lionel, will you please get out of here? Mason, I will give you $30,000 for that cash on the barrel. Not a chance. It's worth three times that cut. Yeah. Yeah, did you, did you see the writing on this Chinese puzzle box there? It has a very ominous message in it, Mason. Did you see that? I don't read Chinese, Lionel. Then I'll be happy to enlighten you, Mason. It's a curse. It states that whoever tries to force open this box will have a terrible curse placed on them from that day forward. Yeah, I mean, you're messing with destiny here, Mason. It's downright dangerous, that's what it is. Well... Lionel, I don't put a great deal of stock in old wives' tales, not even old Chinese wives. Mr. Kleinstock. Listo. ¿Quiere continuar con el corte? Danke, Herr Cowell. Lo va a cortar ahora. Así es. Te sugiero que te apartes, Lionel. Proceda, por favor. Les agradecería un completo silencio, caballeros, ¿eh? Un completo silencio. Le digo que nunca he escrito una carta a ninguno de los Cadwell. Uh, si no le importa, me gustaría continuar esta conversación dentro. Es de mala educación estar aquí molestando a sus vecinos. De acuerdo, puede pasar. Pero solo un momento. Piense lo que piense. No es mía. Yo nunca escribí a ninguno de ellos. ¿Por qué iba a hacerlo? Me estaba preguntando lo mismo. ¿Le gustaría oírla? ¿Puedo elegir? Mi querido Chanin, el océano me ha despertado y me he encontrado pensando en ti. ¿Cuánto tiempo ha pasado desde que estuvimos juntos por última vez? Te echo mucho de menos. ¿Le suena familiar? Bueno, yo no... ¿Es esta su firma? Esto es ridículo. Soy sincero y no puede probar lo contrario. Tengo novia. Siempre he tenido novias. Si va por ahí difundiendo una calumnia como esa sobre mí, perjudicará mi práctica jurídica y arruinará mi reputación profesional. Tengo clientes que no lo comprenderían. Así que no es su letra, ¿es eso? Desde luego que no. Es una falsificación. 
alguien está usando mi nombre por algún motivo. Lo está poniendo muy difícil para los dos. Es la verdad. No quiero amenazarle, amigo. No ha hecho otra cosa desde que ha venido. Mire, muy bien. Puedo hacer que nuestro laboratorio analice su letra para probar que la escribió. Eso sería una pérdida de tiempo y dinero. ¿Por qué no me lo cuenta y nos evitamos un montón de problemas? Le repito que no la escribí. Dígame, ¿por qué no puede creerme? Porque no he podido encontrar a muchos Lindsay Smith en Santa Bárbara. ¿Y eso es problema mío? No juegue conmigo, amigo. Quiero la verdad. Puede quedar entre usted y yo. Nadie tiene que enterarse. No estoy aquí para perjudicar su práctica jurídica. Y no estoy interesado en lo más mínimo en juzgar su modo de vida. Pero tengo que saber la verdad. ¿Por qué? Quiero decir... ¿Por qué le interesa todo esto? El hombre al que escribió esta carta fue asesinado, por si lo ha olvidado. Intento resolver un caso que pasó hace cinco años y, sinceramente, no cuento con pruebas. Ya veo. Así que todas sus esperanzas dependen de mí. Bueno. Siento no poder complacerle, inspector. Maldita sea, será mejor que empiece a complacerme. Podría convertirse en un problema para usted. Si no tiene nada peor que esconder, le sugiero que me lo diga. ¿Eran Channing Capwell y usted amantes? Oh, no. oh, Dios mío. Destruido. Ahora ya no queda nada para nadie. Lo siento mucho, pero le advertí que esto podría ocurrir. Har Capwell. Ha oh, destruido un diamante de 100 mil dólares. También le advertí que ese era el riesgo que se corría. No puedo devolverle su dinero, pero puedo ofrecerle mi condolencia y mis disculpas. Me siento tan mal como usted, igual de desilusionado. Era un diamante muy bonito. Usted no sabe lo que es la desilusión. Una piedra preciosa perdida. Te dije que estaba maldita, Mason. No tenías nada que hacer si forzabas esa caja. ¿Quieres cerrar la boca, Lionel? Tengo otras cosas en que pensar. Señor Capwell, yo también lo siento. Es desolador que pase una cosa así. Estoy dispuesto a pagarle 500 dólares por los residuos. Al menos recobrará algo. Siento no poder ofrecerle más. De acuerdo, gracias. Qué terrible tragedia. Casi siento pena por ti, Mason. Es como sentirte seguro al entrar en casa y cerrar la puerta y darte cuenta de que los ladrones están dentro. No necesito que te compadezcas. Lo que necesitas probablemente es dinero. ¿Puedo prestarte diez papeles? Ah, ya no tiene importancia. Hmm. Esa era mi última esperanza. Ya no tengo a dónde ir y encima debo 18 mil dólares. Eso te pasa por escuchar cuentos chinos de viejas a veces. No. ¿Quieres largarte, por favor, Lionel? No creo que encima pueda soportar tu cachondeo. En un minuto. De nuevo, lo siento. Gracias. Oye, tengo algo que decirte, Mason. Eh... Por el momento estoy separado de Augusta. Quiero volver con ella. Echo de menos a mi familia, a mi hogar. Me conmueves. Ahora, por favor, ¿quieres dejarme en paz? Pero primero tengo que volver a tener a Leiken de mi parte. Para eso tengo que hablar con Ted. Ted y ella están muy unidos. Él tiene una enorme influencia sobre ella. Leiken está de parte de mi mujer y de Minx. Lionel, ¿quieres cerrar el pico, por favor? ¿Crees que me pueden importar tus sórdidos problemas familiares? No hace falta que me digas lo egocéntrico y despreocupado que eres, Mason. Lo sé desde hace tiempo. Lo que quiero saber es el estado de ánimo de Ted. Eh, ¿en, qué, ¿En qué está pensando? En Sofía, probablemente. Sí, bueno, me gustaría creer que Ted está de mi parte. Tuvo que creer a Sofía, ¿no te parece? Lionel, si quieres saber lo que piensa Ted, ve y pregúntaselo. Yo tengo mis propios problemas. ¿Crees que me importa lo que te pase a ti? You. 
No, I don't suppose you care what happens to anybody, Mason. One of the tragedies of your life. You only realized it. Sophia will be with us shortly. Uh, Ted, sit down. Make yourself comfortable while you're waiting. No, no, thanks. Look, I, uh, I want you to know I'm sorry my dad took you off Kelly's case. Mm -hmm. I, I thought you were really helping her out, and I know she felt the same way. Your sister's a very strong girl. I was very impressed by her, and I was impressed by your support. Well, I love her. I'd do anything in the world to help her out. Then she is very fortunate. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. No, I just need to talk to you. Oh. I will uh, let you two talk privately, and uh, nice seeing you, Ted. Yeah, thanks. You too. Um, down. Okay. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm just a little confused right now. I want to know what you're going to do. About what? Well, the Dad, I, I want to know if you're going to fight this divorce thing or if you're just going to let it go on like it is. What do you want me to do? No, more than anything, I want you to be happy. I, mean, I know you've been through all these years with some real, real tough times, and you're certainly entitled to, to a little laugh now. Does that mean that you believe everything I've told you about what's happened to me? Yeah, totally. I, I believe Lionel's story, how he accidentally ran you down, not on purpose. Now, I know you don't believe this, but I do, and so does Lakin. Okay, Ted, perhaps that's for the best. But see, what I really want to find out, though, is what you want. What I want most of all is to be welcomed into the family again. Welcomed by you, Eden, Kelly, and Mason. And if I can live in Santa Barbara and get to know my children again, that's really all I can ask right now. You mean you don't want to get back with Dad? Mom, like, live in the house and, and, and be a part of the family again? I can't even really think about those things right now, Ted. I did. Before, before I came back, I dreamed of being at your father's side one more time. You see, I, I loved him very, very much, and I was very proud to be his wife, and I was very proud to be part of this world. But he doesn't love me anymore. I've seen his hatred. And I also know how much he cares for Gina, and I don't want to ruin any of that. Well, don't you think there's a chance that Dad still loves you? I mean, deep down. I honestly don't know. But even if he had any of those feelings, I don't think it would be right to try to rekindle any of that. He's got a new life now, and it's just starting for him. Look, I, I, I mean, I like Gina a lot, but um, I want you to live with us. And I wish you wanted bad enough so you would fight for it. Because if you ask me, I think you're the only person in this whole world that could make Dad very happy. Thank you. But I don't really think you should say these things right now. Well, it, it's what I feel. Mom, it's what I want. Now, I mean, you can't just give up, Mom. You gotta fight for it. Kelly, I can't stand the way you talk about Mother and all this fighting that goes on. I love her, all right? I don't hate her. Because I know how much she fought for me and Joe from the time he got out of prison. You never fought for us, Daddy. No one else did. Calm down, Kelly. You're just over. No, I'm not going to calm down. I know what she did in the past. But I love her because she was there when I needed her. If it hadn't been for her and Marcello, I wouldn't have made it through Joe's death. But now you've taken Marcello away and you're trying to do the same thing with her. You're seeing another therapist. He's helping you, isn't he? That is not the point. Don't you understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to. You hate the people I love and need. Both of you. And I know Eden feels exactly the same way. And I know I can't change your minds. I just, I want to get away. I want to leave until things quiet down around here until there's some peace in this family again. What do you mean, get away? Where would you go? She's not going anywhere. I love you, honey. I'm just trying to put this family back together again. I don't like all this fighting either. I just want you to realize what your mother is like. She's immoral. Will you stop it? Kelly, will you stop talking about it? God, please calm down. Please don't do this. I'm leaving. Okay? I don't want to do this anymore. And I'm old enough to do what I want to do, and I'm going.
Diga. Ah, Ginger, sí. No, todo va muy bien. Tendré el dinero para dártelo mañana por la noche. Bueno, no hay ningún motivo para eso, Ginger. Ah, sí. Sí, yes, estoy... I agree. 15.000, 18.000. Es a lot of money, but it's not enough to put you in a state of hysteria. Gen. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you do that. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Where am I going to get 18,000 by tomorrow night? Kelly? Maybe. Kelly. Daddy, don't be so impressed about Kelly. You've done everything you possibly can do. You've been a wonderful father. Thank you, honey, but I don't think Kelly sees it that way. She will once she gets a little perspective. <sighs> Darn and I was going through my old war files, and some of them are out of the cabinet. Uh, are you looking at them? Oh, uh, yes, I was. I I'm just reading about my father, the hero. Uh -huh. Like I told you yesterday, hardly a hero. Well, I don't know. Behind enemy lines, decorations for bravery. I think that calls for heroism. That was a long time ago, like another lifetime. I don't even like to think about it. Some men enjoy war. It brings out the best in them. For me, it's... It's just ugly, and I don't like to think about it. Has Marcello talked to you about your war experiences? Marcello? No, never. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. Uh, men talk about war. I just wondered if you and he had. Honey, I would feel a lot better if you would stay away from Marcello altogether. I know. Don't worry. I really don't trust him. Well, neither do I. I'm glad we agree on that. But uh, there are a lot of young men that I'd like to have you meet. Stop trying to matchmake. <laughs> you tried it with Kelly, and look what it did. All these problems. And then uh, Channing. You tried it with Channing. Remember that? It's only natural that a father wants his children to marry well and be happy. I understand that. But leave it to me. I mean, whether it's going to be Cruz, or it's going to be the President of the United States, or anybody else, let that be my decision. You know very well that if you try to make me see someone that you want me to see, then I'm not. All my children are strong-willed and independent. You bet. Sometimes it's very frustrating. And sometimes it's kind of nice to think that you do think for yourselves. If you're asking me not to interfere in your relationship with Cruz, I get the message loud and clear. Good. But I can't help wondering how serious you are about it. Oh, I don't know. Guess we'll just see what the future holds. But I would like to be free to see it for myself. I met Channing the first time at Lyman. We were involved in equestrian things together. Later on, we played polo a little. But nothing ever happened between us until Channing broke up with that girl that he was seeing, uh, Santana Andrade. She was sent away for some reason and he was very upset and lonely. Somehow his father had come between them and he needed somebody to talk to, to be with. So did I. I can't explain it. It just happened. But I swear to you, in my entire life, I have never been involved with any other man. And como Channing y yo solo estuvimos juntos unos meses, no creí que nadie hubiera podido enterarse. Mm, todo acaba por salir a la luz. Sí, pero no hubiera salido si no fuera por usted. No puedo entender por qué me está haciendo esto a mí. ¿Me puede decir de qué le va a servir el desenterrar el pasado ahora? ¿Por qué no puede irse y olvidar que me ha visto y que ha leído esa carta? Por favor. 
No merezco ser perseguido por algo que pasó hace tanto tiempo. Y que duró también tan poco tiempo. Ah, me alegro de que Ted esté aquí. Él he estado buscando. Entonces pasa. ¿Queréis hablar a solas? ¿Es privado? Oh, no, 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 no. Lo que tengo que decir lo podéis oír los dos. Ted, eh, sí, señor. He estado intentando llamarte y te he buscado. Tengo un problema y creo que, que a lo mejor tú podrías ayudarme. ¿De qué se trata, señor Lockbridge? Ted, I, I would like to get back with Augusta and reunite my family. I'm sure that Sophia can appreciate that. She probably wants the same thing. Ted, whatever existed between your mother and me was over a long time ago. But Lakin doesn't believe that. And that is a real tragedy to me. I was wondering if, if I could enlist your help in convincing her. If you believe what I say. Yes, sir, I do. I, I don't believe anything's going on between you and my mother. I'm glad to hear that, Ted. What Augusta and Cece heard in this hotel the other day was Sophia telling me of the great love she has for you children, not for me. And that's what Augusta misunderstood. Wait, I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Lockridge. I don't understand what you want here. Ted, I guess it comes down to this. I need your help. Is it possible for a Capwell to help Lockridge? Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, the district attorney isn't going to be any help. He's decided not to run for office next year and suddenly has become very proud. Damn, I can't get any information on this Hank Judson character. So you have some serious doubts about Gina, don't you? I've got to find out the truth of her relationship with Judson. Are you still planning to marry her? Honey, your tickets for Bermuda are at the uh, airline ticket counter. All right, thanks, Dad. You sure you want to do this? Yeah, I think I have to. Okay, I've, I've talked to your cousins, and they know you're coming. Louise said that you can stay as long as you want. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, you have a wonderful time. <laughs> They had all the relatives. I will. I'll <laughs> finish too many of them. I'll miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. You understand, don't you? I just need to get away. Sure. Darling, why don't you let us drive to the airport with you? No, that's all right, Dad. I want to stop and say goodbye to Mom first. Very well. But please, call me as soon as you get to Bermuda. Oh, I will. I will. Well, where are you off to, Kelly? I'm going to take a vacation for a couple weeks. Kind of sudden, isn't it? She just made the decision this afternoon. Uh, I've got to hurry and get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. I, uh, take care of yourself, okay? One day I'm going to find a way to make it all up to you. Oh, what? Not supporting you and Joe. I was terribly mistaken about him, Kelly. One day I hope you'll forgive me for that. Thanks, Mason. And I will. Bye, Dave. Bye, darling. Thank you. All right. Have a good trip. Bye, Kelly. Well, you've done it again, haven't you? Managed to drive still another one of us away. Yes, Marcello, I'd like to see you as soon as possible. I have something that I think you want to see. Well, that sounds very intriguing. What do you have for me to see? Well, I'd rather not tell you. I'd like to show you, if you don't mind. Can I come over? Come over right away. I'm completely free. Great. I'll be right there. Daddy, I'm leaving. Oh, all right, honey. I'll uh, see you later. Uh, listen, why don't you two try to get along, take a stab at civility? Oh, we were, Eden. We were just going to try to clear the air a little. Great. Good luck. Well, that's a good suggestion. Why don't we clear the air? Go ahead. Say what's on your mind. And I've already said it a hundred times in a hundred different ways. You're letting the family fall apart. 
You've got to learn to stop pushing your children around like so many chess pieces. That is what you do, you know, though I don't think you even realize it. Well, I don't need a lesson in behavior from someone like you, you know. No, no, I know you don't want any lessons from anybody, but you're going to have to learn them sometime, somehow. Not from a man who's on his way to Skid Row. Oh, which is where you seem determined to send me. That's right. But I might be able to give you a little reprieve. I understand you're a little strapped these days. Would you like to pick up a little extra change? Huh. I thought that would pique your interest. I would like to know everything you know about this uh, friend of Gina's, Hank Judson. Simple enough. I have a complete dossier on him. Oh, good. I'll, uh, I'll give you uh, $200 for everything you know. $200? You're paying me for a service, not giving me a parking tip. You insult me, Dad. Oh, well, how much would it take for someone who is independently poor not to insult them? I'll tell you everything you need to know for $18,000. <laughs> oh, you do put a high price on your services. I've never known them to be worth that much. Nevertheless, that's my price. $18,000. should not bother you too much. That's pocket money for you. Well, I haven't gotten where I am today by throwing my money away. Still... You are my flesh and blood. You mean you'll do it? I will pay anything. Find out what I want to know. Eighteen thousand dollars. There you are. It's a bargain and a deal. I'm not trying to persecute you, man. I, I've been assigned to investigate the murder, so obviously I had to follow up on the letter. Well, now that you found me and you know what the situation was, what do you intend to do? Doesn't look like there's anything to be done. What about the letter? Don't sweat it. It won't be made public. Well, surprise Channing kept the damn thing. He wasn't a sentimental kind of guy. If you don't mind my asking, uh, how did the relationship end? Well, it just wasn't working out for us. I'm the one who broke it off. Why? I fell in love with a girl. Decided that someday I wanted to get married, have a family. I've been thinking about that myself. Have you done it? Not yet. But we're making plans. That's good. Good luck to you. Thank you for your help, and I'm uh, sorry I made you late for your appointment. Man. That's okay. I just um, hope none of this uh, gets spread around. Oh, no, don't worry. It won't. So long. to ask you, man. Do you know Peter Flint? What makes you ask that? Do you know him? Uh, the, the name's familiar. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, he was the Carnation Killer. Oh, yeah, sure. That's, that's how I know the name. I, I, I read about him. Oh, well, I thought maybe you, uh, you might have run into him or something. He, uh, he was briefly engaged to Kelly Capwell and he used to teach at Lyman Prep. I'm sorry. <laughs> Must have been after I graduated. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I'm sorry to bother you again. Uh, catch you later. The guy is lying to me, Joe. He's definitely lying to me. got me into this mess, Channing. Wherever you are, I hope you're burning like these rotten letters.
No? No. You'd better take it, Mason. I'm not going to give you another chance. Ever since I was a child, you've been playing these games with me, with the rest of us. Now, they may have been amusing for you, but they were hell for us. You were wrong to send Eden away. You were wrong to use Channing the way you did, and you were wrong to let Kelly get away just now. What you did to me was unforgivable. I hate what I've become, and I hate myself for letting you do it to me. Somehow, somehow I'm going to fight what you've done to me. I'm going to find some breathing room and keep you from suffocating me completely. Destroying me the way you'd like to do. You credit me too much for my concern of what becomes of you. I don't care, Mason. I've known that for years. But I do care what becomes of me, Dan. That's why I'm going to save myself. And not take your money. Oh, very dramatic. But like most of your gestures, very empty. We'll see. Good time. Yes, I, I brought you these. I thought you might be interested in them. They're Daddy's war records. Mm -hmm. Oh, you would be interested in them, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, I would be, and I, uh, I appreciate you doing it. You didn't have to bring all of them. Oh, that's right. I wanted to please you. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Sit down, sit. Are you all right? You, you seem tense. <sighs> oh, a little. I've had a difficult day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. W what happened yesterday after I left? You were in good spirits then. Well, there was a bit of a scene in our house. Kelly wanted to leave, and my father didn't want her to, and they were arguing. And finally, he decided to let her go, so she went to Bermuda to relax. Hmm. I'm sure that'll be good for her. And what are we going to do about you? Me? Yes, about this tension that you feel. Well, it'll go away or it won't. <laughs> no, I think we could be a little more precise about it than that, don't you think? What do you mean? Well, I helped you when you hurt your toe. I think I could uh, help you now to relax. Well, all right. When shall we start? You. I'm so glad you did, too. Come back to the room with me. I was just leaving. Um, I, I don't have much time, Mom. I'm going to Bermuda. Bermuda? Now? Yeah, I just need to get away from the family for a little while. I'm sorry that's because of me, isn't no, it? No, no. It's Dad and Eden. I'm just... so sorry, Kelly. It just seems to get worse every day. No, your father's being very tough on me. I know it, and I can't stand it. How long are you going to be gone? Just a couple of weeks. I'm going to be staying with Louise and the family out there. Good. I'm glad you'll have a good time with them. Kelly, I'm glad you're going. I'm going to miss you, Mom. I'm going to miss you, too. You know, you're the only one that showed me so much love and not turned their back on me. It's like a gift to me, Kelly. Because I love you, that's why. I know you do. And it's going to keep me going. Now, listen, I have Louise's address, and I'm going to write you. You write me back? Of course I will. I just don't want to lose you now. I felt if I went... No, 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 no. You will never lose me. I promise you that. I'll tell you something. We're going to be a family again, I know it. I want that so much, Mom. You don't know. My plane, i got to go. I know. You just have a wonderful trip. And don't you forget for one minute how much I love you. I know. I love you, too. Come on. I'll walk you down. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Chad? Good. Uh, I'm looking for your sister. Is she uh, around? No, she uh, just went to go see Marcello. Really? I thought she was going to hang with me tonight. No, she just left. She, uh, well, she didn't leave a message when she's going to be back or anything. That's strange. Tell me something, man. What do you think of Marcello? Uh, I don't know. He seems okay. He helped Kelly out a lot. Yeah. I don't doubt he does a good job. He's got great credentials as a doctor. But you're not sure of him personally, I guess. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, he may be a smart guy, but... That... But what? Ah, oh, I'm just probably being stupid. I get the feeling the guy's dangerous. You're very relaxed now, but you're conscious of the tension that you're feeling in your family. 
As I speak, the tension and anxiety that you feel will start to diminish very quickly, and it will soon be gone, but you will remain asleep, do you understand? Yes. Good. Your tension is now completely gone. Tell me how you feel right now. I feel relaxed. Good. Rest. Relax. Eden, I want you to help me regain your father's confidence. I want your father to like me. It would help if you were to say some kind things about me to him. That would be very helpful, and you do want to help me, don't you? Yes. Good. Then, what I... Rest and relax, and I will be right back with you. Yes, what is it? Dr. Monty? Yes. Yes, I have a dry clean. Oh, fine, fine. Thank you. How much is it? Uh, $12.65. Uh-huh. Okay, keep, keep the train. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. much. Yes. Eden, I want you to wake up. When you do, you will feel relaxed and in control, and your tension will be gone. And you will feel no anxiety because you know that no harm will come to you or your family because of me. I'm going to count backwards from three. When I snap my fingers, you will wake up. 